Hello everyone. So today our topic of discussion is the process of attitude change. Now, Fritz Hader had come up with the concept of balance where he designed a triangle which has, you know, the three components of the three aspects, namely the P, O and X. Now, this triangle very readily is representing the relationships, you know, between these three aspects of components of attitude. When I talk about P, P is the person whose attitude I want to study. O is very clearly another person and X is the topic pertaining to which I'm trying to study or understand the attitude of P, you know. Now, when I, when I talk about the attitude change or when I talk about the shift in one's attitude, you know, the attitude will change only when there's going to be a state of imbalance. Now, this state of imbalance is very clear, a disagreement, you know, which in a way causes us uh, a kind of a mental stress or maybe it takes away or saps away the, the peace of mind. Then we immediately want to come to a decision or we want to take an action, you know. So this state of imbalance, you know, logically becomes very, very uncomfortable for a person and we want to take a shift or we want to make that change in our attitude and we want to move towards the direction of balance. Now let us understand that what is this uh, state of balance and state of imbalance, you know. So when we talk about state of imbalance, generally it's found when all the three sides of the triangle, you know, P, O and X are all negative. And the second condition is when two sides are positive and one is negative, you know. And the balance will be found when all the three sides of the triangle are positive. And the second condition is that when two sides are negative and one side is positive. Now let us understand this uh, concept of balance with the help of an example so that we know that how when a person in state of imbalance tends to make that shift in his attitude or brings that change in his attitude more so to move towards the state of balance very clearly the state of balance will be achieved you know when that change in attitude will occur now when we talk about uh, uh, for instance if we just think of the same triangle which has the three components of p o and x let us just think of p as that person, you know, who's got a very positive attitude towards dowry. Now, my topic of discussion here uh, pertaining to which I need to understand or study the attitude of P especially, that topic or so to say my X is my dowry. P is my person whose attitude I want to study you know and um, of course so the attitude that p has towards x is very clearly positive you know because he is in favor of uh, dowry he encourages dowry he definitely wants dowry when i talk about o o's got a negative attitude towards x he's not in favor of dowry so for instance if p was the father of uh, you know anyone you know like any any particular guy you know who was getting married to a girl now p wants his son to get married to so and so girl you know now he's in favor of dowry he encourages dowry he wants dowry so his attitude towards x is very clearly positive now o is the father of the girl and he discourages dowry he doesn't want to give dowry his attitude towards x which is my dowry is negative and what's interesting is that initially o had a positive attitude towards p because they were in cordial relationship they were going to get their kids married you know and so in a way o had a positive attitude towards p now the situation is a situation of imbalance why because very clearly, there's one side which is positive, there's another side which is positive and there is one side that's negative. 
So P X is positive, O P is positive, but O X is negative. So this is very clearly a state of imbalance. Now, one of the three attitudes will have to change to attain a state of balance. Either what can happen is that P can start disliking dowry. So the relationship or so to say the attitude that P has towards X, if that becomes negative or the P X relationship, if that becomes negative, we can attain a state of balance. Or if the O X relationship, that means if O in a way starts encouraging dowry or is okay with giving dowry, then definitely a state of balance can be achieved. Or if O begins to start disliking P, then also a state of balance can be created. So attitude change will definitely have to take place so that, you know, there will be three positive relationships or maybe there could be two negative and one positive relationship in the triangle. So definitely because it's a state of imbalance, attitude will have to change. There needs to be a shift created so that a state of balance can be attained, you know. And many a times it also happens that maybe it could be in relation to three people, not necessary that there are always two people in one topic, you know. So this is what uh, Fritz Heider was trying to put across, that how can we attain that state of balance and how the attitude always changes because it tends to move from a state of imbalance to a state of balance. Definitely there'll be a attitude change or shift in one's attitude. Thank you so much.